What's popping, guys? Welcome back. It's been a little while since you guys have seen the both of us together, uh, but we're back with a new video, uh, and we're we're trying something new today. Yeah, yeah. We figured, you know, like for for us, there's there's two constants, right? We train and we play games, and uh, we want to keep you up to date on our training. And also, there's just some cool games out right now. So we thought, well, let's try and create a series where we combine them into. It's going to be training vlogs but we're going to talk while playing a new game. See how it goes. Yeah, exactly, right? It should be cool. And, you know, <laughs> since the, since Ghost of Tsushima Legends came out, uh, you know, this Friday, or last Friday, by the time you guys are watching, then it seems like a, a great a great opportunity to dive in for some co-op action and chat video games. Uh, so Ghost of Tsushima came out earlier on this year. We had a lot of great fun with it. Uh, but they dropped the the new multiplayer update called Legends uh, yep. just last last week. It will be last week by the time you guys see this kind of stuff. Yeah, last Friday. Um, Completely nice. free. Awesome. Yeah, which is awesome, right? We never really get to get free games that are pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm is, down for this. Yeah, this is a pretty like sizable update for and you know for what is effectively free. Like it's broken into there's three three, three components to it. You've got some co-op missions which are like two player co-op. So you get to go through like nine story missions, uh, broken into little mini chapters, have a lot of fun with them. There's four different like classes you can play as, which we'll speak about in a bit. Uh, there's also like a wave based survival mode if that's your thing and coming soon there is also going to be a raid Not quite sure how extensive it will be a raid. But, uh, yeah, a raid a four-man oh raid goodness. So uh, awesome. yeah, basically if you just wanted to kind of do more Ghost of Tsushima stuff But like with your friends like co-op assassinations and stuff. This is what you do This game looks sick, you know, like I, I guess you're setting like some kind of weird like Oni yokai world, like there's yeah. all like weird blowing it's, things it's in the sky and stuff. Like, yeah, like it's, it's definitely leaning more into, you know, like Ghost of Tsushima was sort of grounded in like the reality, whereas this yeah. is more, um, do you, got, do you want to get the one on the right? I'll get the one on the left. This is going to be sick. This is like Splinter oh. Cell. Let's go. Oh, the moon, oh what the did moon. you do? He moved. I got him, I got him, I got him. Ah. Oh, yeah, I got him, hey. I got him. There we go. Nobody saw nice. There's a couple of arches up ahead as well. Um, yeah, going, this one uh, leans more into sort of like the legends, right? So, well, I mean, you know, hence the title, but like the 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 mythology so like whereas they would tell tales in the full game about like right. um about like these these legendary creatures whereas like now you actually get to face these legendary creatures i see oh you took him out already oh man it's all right there we go nice, nice. all right sweet cool. right so yeah it's, it's been a while since you guys have seen us right i think the last time was our our like a uh, thousand pound bench was that was yeah. that a, yeah, a thousand yeah, yeah. thousand pound club thousand video pound right club. yeah 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 so we've both been lifting a fair amount since then. We've made some made some progress. We've made some mm. some good lifts. Uh, in fact, Alex, you hit your your first hundred. Finally, finally, yeah. Like I um, I mean, you know, if you guys are on the channel, like I've spoken about it right at the beginning of the year in like the um in the kind of goals video, but also just like I think it, I think it featured in a couple of the training vlogs. In fact, it did in the thousand pound club. You saw me you saw me fail it again, right? So I've I've consistently tried. I mean. I think it's important to say that like, I, I I haven't been training specifically with the intention of achieving the 100 kg bench. I've got, I've kind of been getting stronger, but I haven't been doing like a proper bench peaking program. But, but it's always been like a goal of yours to to try and hit that, right? I think it's like a goal yeah. of everyone's really if you're into like lifting to try and hit that you know that two plate that two plate exactly, bench. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So so I've always tried it, but and I've I've been really close many many times. But like they'll always be like just before the lockout, or like I'll, I'll fail it or something. Right, um, right. So are uh, oh, these guys? We've got a synchronized kill because they, if they're tethered, you have to kill Ooh. them together. Okay. I don't uh, know what that means. Like, uh, in like a in oh like right, a okay. Activity. Yeah, so I've, so I've been I've been trying for it, um, but I'd always I'd always fail. So, the, but then the other week I had my, had my training session. Uh, I was following my plan, obviously, my you know my current plan, which had me doing eighty five kg. Uh, three by five, but like I right. did it and, it and it felt pretty pretty smooth the whole thing. And I was like, you know what, I'm feeling kind of feeling kind of strong today. So I just I just uh, pushed it up to ninety, got one like fast rep, and I was like, all right, that felt decent. And then what I would normally do in the past if I wanted to try for hundred is I would just push from ninety to hundred. So this time I was like, let me go ninety five, because if, if if that moves smooth, I know I've got it. And yeah. ninety five just moved like like fast, bar. <laughs> yeah. And I was, and then, so at that point, because because it's always been a mental game. It's always been like the um, like check out these areas in between. These are mad. Oh whoa. Yeah, but it's always been like a kind of a goal, right? But then every time I, it's always been like a mental blocker where I just I just don't I doubt myself. But then when the ninety five moved so fast, I was like five kilograms physically cannot stop me from doing this. I'm like it's it's only five <laughs> kilograms. If I don't get this, like it's impossible to not get this. Let's go right over here. Okay, um, cool. And I did it. I literally, I literally, I pushed it. I pushed it. It moved quite fast, and I got so gassed. I was like, "Oh, let me, uh, let me try for two reps." I, I, you I went, for the, <laughs> <laughs> I went for the run back. I went for the run back. 
but yeah, I got it. So I finally got. I mean, obviously it's a hundred kg floor press because I can't bench properly at home right now. Right. Uh, so I do want to. So that means that you're using. What does that mean, muscle wise? That you're using more your your triceps than your chest. More triceps. In... More triceps and chest. There's like there's there's zero leg drive. There's zero. Um, you know, and there's zero like arch back or anything like that. It's just purely just like pushing. So in, in some respects, right. like I've heard that floor press is a really good way to actually build potential strength for like the the upper portion of the lockout and stuff. Right. Right. Uh, so it's actually really like, it's actually really good, but obviously it's not quite full range of motion because you can only go as far as your elbows touch the ground. So of course, uh, but yeah, of course, that nice man. Uh, it's the same for me. Like I, I hit uh, what, a one ten with you the mm, yeah. the last time we was together. Um, I tried to hit the one twenty on the same day and it didn't quite happen. I was kind of frustrated by that, but it felt like I kind of reached like the end of my my newbie gains, as it were. You know, when you start yeah, lifting and the yeah, things yeah. are, you know, you really start. Uh, oh, I'll go left, left you go right. right. Yeah. Oh, you might see me. Um, there we go. Nice. Yeah, I felt like I reached the end of my newbie gains. So for the first time since I've started training, I hit like an actual program, like a strength program to try and hit specific nice. numbers and percentages each week or twice a week because I was being kind of savage to try and hit uh, to hit a one, 120 bench. And it worked out really well. Don't get me wrong, it was tough. I think I managed to get it in last week, the week before. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But I think the toughest thing that I found was I, I over... I underestimated how savage that kind of training can be. Um, and I needed a deload week. And that's the first time I've ever really needed one to kind of like step off and take things easy for like a week or two. Um, yeah. And it, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's such a surprise. I think you've had one recently yourself as well, right? Yeah, uh, well, so, so because I've, I've obviously been training with um, with Luke Tullock. So I've got like a, a new trainer because obviously I work kind of, you know, I'm getting close to my, um, you know, my, my lean goals, but I kind of started to spin my wheels again. So I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna work with Luke to kind of work on dial in my nutrition, get a few things sort of locked in and stuff. Um, and he's Ooh. he's basically splitting my, my training into phases. So, you know, we do like a, a six week phase and then he'll start the next phase. And obviously at the right. beginning of each phase, we have the introductory week, which is only like only two sets, for most of them, and lifting at like 60%, 70%. So pretty, pretty light. We just need to clear this whole place. So we'll just do it slowly and go around the outside. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so he'll, you know, we'll, we'll do that. And then, um, and then obviously as as the phase progresses, we get like you know closer and closer to to failure. In this in this plan, because I'm not doing like a peaking program, I'm not I'm never pushing to like complete failure. We're always working like uh, two reps in reserve. Um, right. But it's, so it's, it means it's you're working really... tough, but not like killing yourself. Yeah, I feel, I feel like most <laughs> even even towards the end of the program, most of the most of the um, the kind of stuff is like RP eight kind of thing. So like you know, right. it's, it's it's good. It, like you know, strong enough to, to to promote growth, but just obviously not the. But the main thing is that it just lets me recover well and all the time. So um, but yeah, those those deals are, are impressive because you know those those weeks sometimes you do it and like you know we're we would always just before be like, oh, we lifted heavy, let's just go again, let's just go again. But when you have that deload and then you and you finally kind of push back afterwards, it's it's so like it's so important because it lets you just push back stronger, right? Absolutely. In fact, I feel like people need to take them more often before you actually need them. Like I took mine because yes. out of necessity. And even after I'd taken the the, the the deload week, I still felt like I needed time to recover. <laughs> yeah. Well that's something um, that um Luke's trying to sort of get into my programming. Like he'll he'll always factor in deload weeks before I need them. He's like, you never wanna be like you never want a deload week to be reactive where like, oh, I'm so burnt out that I need it. You wanna be like, I'm getting close to feeling kinda of tired. Let me dial back now before right. I you know, because because you want it to be um to aid your recovery as opposed to be like a repair mechanism. I'm with you. you. Know what I mean? yeah, 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 absolutely. And I feel like that that was probably my um my downfall uh yeah. this time. And I've learned it's a lesson then for next time, right? Like, yeah, you can go hard if you want to, but when you feel like you are gonna start, you know, fatiguing, you can definitely take those deload weeks. They're super important. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, we also hit some some deadlift PRs recently, haven't we? Yes. Like, they yeah, may not yeah. necessarily be um like one rep maxes, oh, but down. we've been set oh no, uh, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Oh, you left me with two guys to take out. It's fine, it's fine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I uh, clearly I oh, I, 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 I struggle to Ooh. talk and play at the same time. It's a skill. Even it's though a uh, my character is more uh, well, actually, my character I, I put on the lower level gear, so so that in my defense. I'm just but, hearing uh, your excuses. Look at that. <laughs> See that perfect parry. Save me. You're not ready, bro. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. we both but set yeah. some um some deadlift PRs recently. Not necessarily like one rep maxes, but we've been we've been hitting some some volume. Mm. Uh, numbers, which is pretty cool, right? I hit a 260 times three recently. I hit that triple, yeah, um, which felt nice. awesome. And it's real nice because for me, I kind of like um, 
in my mind, I see like where my my deadlift started with you last year when we, we hit the trap. Yeah. At, at the pure gym, and I hit like two ten for three. Um, come here, come on. here, come here. Just before, just before, just before. Peep this. Check my ult. Check my ult on these guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's kind of sick. That's yeah. kind of sick. But yeah, yeah so yeah, um, you hit that. We hit we hit that pure gym. We did we did that kind of end of year thing because because that was like because for a while before beforehand like because like when you think back to earlier in your training, a lot of the time you were just training like hyper for low. So you you never really pushed like big heavy deadlifts. Yeah, I never I never like power lifted really until yeah mm. I started training with you to be honest. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was nice to see that over that space of time. Like not only had I gone up in by like fifty kg, it's also the, the type of trap bar deadlift I was doing was different. So I don't know if you, if you see that first video, I'm using the handles up, whereas in the yeah. new video, I'm doing the handles down. So it means my range of motion is uh, larger, which means I'm having to use my muscles more. So I feel like there's like a lot of, like not just uh, strength that's increased there, but also technique and like power and stuff as well. Mm. Um, you know, you, it's not always necessary about the numbers getting higher when you progress in the gym. It's sometimes just seeing how your form yeah. gets better and stuff too. So that was quite nice. See, yeah, that, um, well, that's something that I definitely felt as well like, with with my one because you know because so I hit a volume. I mean, obviously, you know, my, my max is still two hundred because I mean, well, that's the last I've been able to test it. But I hit right. a volume. I did like uh, one hundred and sixty kg, uh, three sets of five, which was like really good for me. But the, the thing that I've been really dialing in, especially given that when I was training at home, I didn't have as much, um, you know, I didn't have as like a, as much like equipment and stuff. So I had to work more with with what I've been doing. So I've really, really been dialing in like form and just feeling everything and like I am. You know, super tight when I'm when I'm like deadlifting and making sure that everything is just right and like that that 160 set like felt really really nice. Right. Um. So yeah, I think I think it's just sort of you know it's, it's been it's been a good way to kind of you just like double down on form and making sure because that's the thing I only I want to make sure that if I am progressing that I'm not just like doing it for numbers I want to make sure that I'm progressing because I should be. Um. You exactly. Know, because, like, Leave the ego at the door. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that kind of stuff. 100%. Right. Yeah. Cool. So what's next on on your your list of goals? Like mine. I still want to hit the 260 conventional deadlift, so I'll see if I can get the end before the end of the year. That's probably mm. like my main one that I'm I'm thinking of. You got anything that you're you're working so towards? So I think at the I think still? for me, like at the moment, I'm not really like I think the only two things I really want to sort of achieve. I'm, I'm not really going to set any numbers number. I mean, like I said at one point, I wanted to kind of do the thousand pound club, but I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for now. I think my main goal is that I just want to I want to stay the course and ensure that I get this level of leanness because I'm I'm getting really really close now. Like, I'm the lightest I've been in like a long time. I think I'm, at the moment I'm sitting at 190 pound. Uh, mm. which I mean it's a lot lighter than I like ultimately want to be but I appreciate that to get to where I, like, there's two different approaches right like I'm doing the approach where I'm just like I'm just losing weight until I get to the level of leanness that I want and I'll build back up uh, whereas obviously you're approaching it where like you want to get to a number and then you're just going to have the muscle come through in the other way so yeah. it's interesting to see the different angles but yeah I'm just going to follow the follow the course and kind of sort of get that because I think that I've been so close to this many times but then I get very close and then I suddenly just start chasing numbers and just forget about it so I'm going to be like that my number one goal is just to get to that 10 12 percent body fat have that and I'm, I'm getting getting i feel like i'm getting pretty close now um yeah i think within you know if i can achieve that by beginning of december so that at least when it comes to christmas time i can eat some food and just enjoy myself <laughs> that would be great um and otherwise numbers wise i mean i think maybe just if we like if we meet up i wouldn't mind trying to just try 100 kg just on an actual bench it's happening um, you're gonna hit it there's no there's no excuses now yeah like you know no you, you, know you can do it well, because I know that I can do the bottom half anyway. Yep. It was always the top half. And now that exactly. the, um, floor press is the top half. So I basically have this now. Yeah, so. you've got this. No no issues. Maybe two reps. Maybe maybe three. Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe three. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that was pretty cool. Um, thanks for uh, watching, guys. Really appreciate yeah, you guys you checking out this new type of content. Let us know what you guys would love to hear us play, talk about. Mm. Let us know what you think about this kind of stuff. Um, we'll be back uh next week with another video guaranteed Definitely. now this 100%. is this is happening now this is this we said this do you know it's a meme every video we're like oh yeah we'll be back next week and then we're gone for like a month so maybe we should just say we'll see you when we see you and then it will be actually but we, on, but on we, want, we want to we want to we want to make sure we got that, that <laughs> content so we've been putting together some plans we've got some fun content we want to make so we're gonna intend to do that uh so yeah make sure you stick around but easiest way of course is stay tuned on the socials instagram we're posting more frequently twitter uh, of course subscribe and stay notified on youtube and uh yeah we'll uh we'll be back with some more video games very soon take it easy guys